Mario Chimbo team. This is Pablo Sabanea, this is Alexis Antunia, and myself, Cesar Escudillo. We're going to be presenting power transmission system for our mechanical design class. A gearbox is a mechanism that transmits power, speed, and torque via a system of gears that can be arranged in a given layer. There are endless designs in which a transmission can be built depending on the revolutions required. Different gear arrangements must be selected to obtain the most efficient mechanism. Depending on the requirements, the configuration of the shaft of the gearbox can be either parallel or perpendicular, and these specifications <coughs> can bring challenging design. Uh, our main goal for this project is to design a transmission system that will be capable of transmitting 3.5 horsepower between a maximum <coughs> shaft speed of 2,000 RPM and an output shaft speed of 125 RPM. This power transmission system is to be designed such that it will be purchased as a single unit, easy to assemble to any system that would require its uh, specified specification. Uh, note that the input and the output shafts in our design must be perpendicular to each other, meaning that the center line must lie in the same plane. Also, the rotation of the input and the output shaft must be in the same direction. The transmission system will be used in a medium to low precision application, such as a small motor or a small pump. Constraints on the system weight are not too strengthened, but an efficient design is required. The system will experience moderate shocks. Also, the environment where the gearbox is going to be used will be exposed to high levels of humidity, ranging from 90 to 95%. Operational temperature will constantly vary between room temperature, plus or minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, the cost of the unit should be kept as low as possible. Here we can find the different equations that we use for the design. Uh, these equations are taken from the Shigley Mechanical Engineering Group. These equations are the AGMA. These are used for bending and wear stress, stresses in the spur gear. We also use the same equations for the bevel gears uh, and the different factors are calculated uh, during the design. We also use the SKF online catalog in order to, to select the ball bearings that we needed for our design and requirement. And also, uh, we were able to, to find the different gear, um, the spur gear and the bevel gear in the Boston catalog. Due to the power, velocity, and the shape layout, two sets of gears, each one with a velocity ratio equal to four, were selected in order to accomplish the overall velocity ratio of 16. There were three different conceptual designs taken into account. The first one was helical gears and work gears. This was discarded because of the inefficient design. The second one was a helical gear with bevel gears. Uh, we, we found out that the helical gears were more expensive than, than the spur gears. Uh, for the specification, we had uh, an input RPM of 2,000 RPM and the output was 125 RPM. And uh, we tried to, to make the, the velocity ratio of each set of gears equal to 4. Here we can see uh, two different graphs uh, of the first two uh, designs. Um, that is the warm and helical sketch, and this one is the spur and bevel sketch. And finally, we decided to go with the spur gear and the, heel, uh, and the bevel gear. We can see here the, the, the final sign. Here we can see the pages from the Boston catalog where we found the, our, our gear for the design. In this, in this side, we can see the spur gears uh, with a diameter pitch of 12. And in that side, we did see the bevel gear uh, with a diameter of pitch of 8. And also, we can see here the page from the SKM online catalog where we found our deep group ball bearing select. Here, as we can see, three different shafts were designed for a required transmission system. The shaft number one has a total length of 7 inches with a max diameter of 0.6 inches. The shaft number two has a total length of 8.86 inches the max diameter of 1.075 inches and shaft number three has a total length of 7.25 inches with a max diameter of 1.08 inches. After the dimensions of the shaft were selected, we conducted an analysis to each one of them in order to know the reaction forces, the shear, 
and the bending moment diagrams. Here we can see the procedure of the reaction forces, bending moment diagram, the shear diagram for the first shaft. The, uh, for presentation purposes, we're uh, only showing this one, but the same procedure was conducted to the other remaining shafts as well. Uh, after doing this procedure, uh, the material selected for the shaft was the AISI 1040 steel cold drawn. Here we can see uh, the layout of the bottom part of the housing case that was designed uh, where the, the elements of the transmission system are going to be laying on. The, uh, there's an upper part of the case that will be put on top of this one and it will be, it will be tiny with bolts. The total cost for the gearbox varies depending on the manufacturer the designer chooses to select the parts. In our design, we chose Boston Gear as our gear supplier and SKF as our bearing supplier. For the shaft, the team used a steel 1040 cold drawn, which is a very common steel and is available almost anywhere. Our company will charge a moderate sum of money for the design. Here, as we can see, there's a cost report. There's an invoice from our company in which uh, is specified each one of the prices for each one of the different elements. And at the end, we can see the total price, which is $990 for the whole system. The gearbox comes with a warranty of one year, and maintenance and support is offered through this time. Oil level must be checked every three months. Proper handling of the gearbox will certainly extend its life and please don't exceed our manufacturer's specifications. Next, we can see an animation of the, of the design. Here is the motor that drives the speed at 2,000 RPM. There's a reduction between the four gears of four to one. It brings down the angular velocity to 500 over here at this level, and then there's another reduction from, for this level gear to this level gear of four to one. The final, Angular velocity is uh, 125 RPM, which drives that water pump that we can see over there. Finally, with the specifications given, a gearbox was designed with the proper velocity reduction. Most of the concepts led in class were used in order to select and design most of the suitable components of the gearbox. Now, if the same process were repeated from the beginning, some of the shaft lengths would be changed and the case would be redesigned. This concludes our presentation.